Hey everybody, welcome back to all the popcorn. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. So how's everybody handling the quarantine life? I personally am meant for this quarantine life. I never go out. I'm a big time homebody. So if it comes down to me having to be quarantined, I'll be okay. Once again, please do not mind the situation that's going on right here. No negative comments. I know it's there. Trust me. Good news is I finally went to the doctor today. So hopefully within the next few videos, you'll start noticing a decline in redness. And today it seems to be very angry. So I decided not to put any kind of concealer foundation on it but given the topic of this video i think it actually goes very well this can be like my prop for the day because we are talking about viral outbreak movies given the current outbreak that we're having right now with the coronavirus so if you are a delicate person and you don't want to find any kind of humor in anything you can go ahead and just click out of this video because i really don't want any kind of negativity any kind of like bad juju in the comment section below i try to do everything to kind of add a little bit of humor a little bit of lightheartedness to my channel i really do not tolerate any kind of negativity i'm very like usa kind of person this may just not be the video for you thank you for clicking on here before you click out please give it this guy, not this guy. This guy. But you know, there's certain instances that you like to watch certain kind of genre movies. You know, February, you want to watch those romantic movies. October, you got your horror movies. December, you want to watch the but Christmas movie. So why not a good viral outbreak movie when we're literally going through a viral outbreak at the moment? So let's go ahead and get on with my list. And I'm gonna be going a little bit rogue today. I don't have five and I don't have ten. I have seven movies on my list, which is kind of low-key messing with my OCD because it's not an even number. I mean, technically I could have eight, but I'm just going to put that one as an honorable mention. You know what? We're just going to go ahead because my OCD is probably not going to allow me. So we're going to go ahead and put the honorable mention as number eight, but just know that it's really honorable mention, but my OCD is telling me to say eight. So honorable mention would be 28 Days Later, The Rage Virus. I just, I didn't like it. I feel like it was kind of all over the place, you guys. And then it just didn't really make sense. Like, why is it that the zombies couldn't go out in the daytime? Like, y'all let me know, because I think I totally missed that. I just, I don't understand it. They never really got back to the whole monkey situation lab. Like, I thought at some point or another they were going to end up back there. Mind you, the girl, I really digged her because she don't play around. Like, when that guy got bit, and, um, spoilers, but uh, again, all these movies have been out for years already. Mind you, I know I just recently saw them, but spoiler alert, right? But when she, like, just killed that guy when he got attacked, like, she didn't even hesitate. She's like, bam, 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 with that machete. I said, oh, yep. But yeah, the rage fires, I think, from all of them on my list. Is possibly the one that like attacks the quickest. It also seemed like it had a lot of like little subplots along with the big major one. Then when they got to the castle with the soldiers, I just, you know, the soldiers they wanted to just rape these girls and then the court tried to kill the guy and then the guy just went batshit crazy and just started killing everybody too. I mean, I don't know you guys, it was a lot. I'm gonna try not to really go too much into each individual movie, but I always say that. But number seven would be the sequel, 28 weeks later, again, the rage virus. So um, apparently, you know, 28 weeks passed by and everything. And I enjoyed it way better than part one. Maybe because I haven't fully processed it. I literally just watched it yesterday. So maybe as time goes by, maybe if I rewatch it, maybe it'll be further down my list. Um, but please, you know, again, I forgot to say this at the beginning. But I know when I do my list, this is, of course, my opinion. This is how I rank them. Um, my own personal a preference it doesn't mean that my list is correct because i can tell you right now it's far from being right but of course you guys can share it down below how you rank your viral outbreak movies there were some issues with it that never really got resolved especially about you know trying to save the boy that they never really did anything with the boy you know what this movie really i'm not even gonna lie this is probably why it's also so far up my list this is why I don't like kids, okay? If you guys are, are new or don't know me, I'm not a kid person. Like, please don't dislike me. You know, the kids are just not for everybody. Oh my god, the kids in this movie were pissing me off. There at the beginning when the whole wife situation happened, when she was trying to save this kid, like, oh my god, like, seriously, like, leave the damn kid. That, like, what the heck? That kid just took off, hid. The lady's trying to save his life, and she, he's all, like, 
like hiding scared like i get it he's scared okay but like no these are not situational you need to be hiding like that like no we, we need to get out and then when the other kid when the son when he kept wandering off oh my god i'm like i'm gonna kill you i'm gonna throw you to the damn zombies if you don't didn't you just tell your sister especially when we're gonna stick together and we're, we're not gonna get separated when y'all fall down that damn dark subway escalator deal what do you do instead of staying your ass put you take off and you wander off and then your damn dad finds you and attacks you and bites you and now you're infecting people oh my god like the whole thing really pissed me off you guys it really did like you know, I mean, that made me sound so horrible with the children. I'm sorry. But yeah, no, I'd be recommending movies and be like, take the kiddos and everything. You're like, I don't remember, but... Mm. No. Let's go ahead and move on before y'all guys just full on dislike me. Number six would be The Crazies. The Trixie Virus. It's another one that I just saw this week. That I'm just like, man, I could have seen you you weren't scary so the government pretty much ends up having some sort of accident and infects the water and then they all just kind of lose their mind and go crazy this is why i don't want to live in a small town you guys because this is literally shit that i fear will happen in a small town like you know especially like everything always happens in a small town if it's not new york it's a small town because you know small towns you contain them family members all live there so it'll be easy to kind of clean up or an accident to happen when you need to like blow up the whole damn city with the whole damn damn town now with the Trixie virus they did not become zombies that's one of the things i try not to put too many zombie movies in my list um, they pretty much still had their mindset for the most part they were pretty veiny and of course and again they weren't zombies so they weren't trying to like eat people's flesh so moving on number five would be contagion and that would be the mev 11 virus now this one coincidentally is another one that started i believe in hong kong was it or somewhere in china is where that virus took place in the movie gwyneth paltrow i think it is gwyneth right that comes on it and then matt damon come on it well gwyneth went on and had a little affair with somebody who was infected and she got infected uh thankfully did not get matt damon infected and it is a nasty little bugger okay winslet comes on this movie as well um also give me recommendations of what's happening right now stop touching in your face also, I don't really have more to say about it because I haven't seen it in a long time. I think I already saw it once or twice and I don't really recall too much about it. I just remember it was about a virus and it was actually really good. I do recall that, but I don't remember overall what happened. Literally, the other two, like I said, I just watched them. So, moving on, number four would be Cabin Fever and this is the Flesh Eating Virus. Now, surprisingly enough i saw this movie around the time that it actually came out and it's a scary movie well it was like suspenseful thrilling i don't know you guys i i mean i don't like scary movies but i've seen it's calling me then they were in college end up going to this little rinkety cabin they end up getting infected like literally their skin is like falling off there's one part in particular you guys which gets me every single time if you see the movie you may know which one i'm talking i'm not gonna really say what it is because there's literally another video that i'm planning on doing that that particular scene is going to be involved in so i really don't want to say anything here but yes, um, Kevin Fever, they're, they're infected by the water. And in third place would be I Am Legend, the Crippin Virus. I probably said that wrong, but yeah, no. Yeah, if y'all been with me for a while, y'all know I keep pronouncing that thing. It's Will Smith's pretty much solo movie. He literally pretty much, uh, for the most part, right? Him and his dog, oh my god, spoiler alert, the dog dies. The dog gets infected, which is like the worst thing about the whole damn movie. Like, was it Daisy? Was that her name? Oh my god. Thing. again it does involve zombies which also in this movie the zombies didn't come out in the daytime either so from 28 days later was it kind of like the same because in 28 weeks later i forgot to mention that 28 weeks later they, the zombies came out in the day and the night time so what changed between 28 days and 28 weeks that made them able to come out during the daytime now unlike the zombies from like 28 weeks later they still managed to have some sort of like mind because you know they were literally chasing after will smith and they're like we're gonna get you let's move on number two would be resident evil the t-virus now oh this is where we got introduced to badass alice i love this franchise mind you the last couple movies pretty much sucked i was like mm. but we you know what i'm just including them all for the most part we we just like, take first part take a part whatever but i i love this movie each 
movie the damn zombies get faster and more advanced and scarier looking and i'm just like can we have the zombies from part one because like i would have higher possibility in surviving those but yes the t-virus is my number two pick and coming in in first place would be none other than what is trending on netflix right now outbreak the motoba is that how you say it motoba. I'm trying to think about Kevin Spacey. It just rolls off your tongue. Motoba. That's right. Yes, I mean, this is literally from everything on my list, the most rewatched movie that I've seen about viral outbreaks. I love that movie. Yes, it's very cheesy and everything. I, you know, it's from like the 90s, <laughs> but I, I still enjoy it. I literally can rewatch that movie like all the time. This is my list of the viral outbreak movies that I'm recommending for you guys to watch during this viral corona outbreak that we're currently having. Let me know down below what um, viral outbreak movies you guys recommend. Uh, let me know down below how you rank the viral outbreak movies. I'm sure you guys have seen way more than me. Like I have not seen World War Z um, or Quarantine but I didn't want to incorporate a bunch of like zombie movies because I do like like Shaun of the Dead, Shaun of the Dead, Shaun of the Dead could be an honorable mention but, but it is a zombie movie. I probably should have put that on here actually. You know what? That's going to be my number eight, Shaun of the Dead. I'm going to go ahead and incorporate another uh, zombie movie. Yes, I know. I know that may contradict my whole not liking scary movie stuff but there's kind of like a gray line for me where I love zombie movies and I can do gore I just cannot do horror like I, I, I don't like shit popping out at me and I'm done you guys I, this is the end of it but before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and of course don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're gonna find each other and I post something new and until everything calms down I'll be seeing you guys at concessions bye